might have gone like a little overboard. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Taylor and I post videos every Thursday all about thrifting, vintage, fashion, sustainability, and mixing that with modern brands to hopefully inspire you guys to be bold and unique in creating your own sense of style. So I hope you guys stick around, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and we're just gonna hop into today's video. So since I have not been able to thrift at a thrift store, which is like my bread and butter of my closet, I have had to take to online thrifting during quarantine the past two months, and I will say like, I didn't do much online thrifting prior to quarantine, but I am hooked now. There's so many amazing gems that you can find online that people have curated, and I feel like it's another really great resource to shop sustainably. So I'm going to, one, in the first part of this video, share all of my tips and tricks and my favorite buying platforms, and kind of help you navigate the thrifting online world. And then the second half of this video, I'm going to be sharing a huge haul of everything that I have gotten the past two months thrifting online. I might have gone like a little overboard, but hey, it's for a video, right? So some of these items I got from platforms online and some of them were gifted to me. I am so fortunate to have a lot of friends that are vintage sellers that wanted to give me some items to share with you guys. So I have been sitting on a few of these packages for like over a month and I have not opened them. So I'm going to be opening them on camera. Many of them we will both be seeing for the first time. Now let's get into all of my tips and tricks and this haul. So first I'm going to talk about my favorite buying platforms and my top three favorites are Depop, Poshmark, and Instagram, believe it or not. There's so many great shops on Instagram and I love that like anybody can freaking be like a business owner. You don't have to have a brick and mortar store. You don't even have to pay for a website domain. You can literally create an Instagram site for free and be your own girl boss and I just think that is so cool. So those are my top three, but I also love shopping at Etsy, eBay, Mercari, um, The Real Real if you're looking for authenticated designer goods, and also ThreadUp. So obviously every buying platform is going to be a little bit different. So I'm first going to talk about some general tips that I think you can really use across all platforms, kind of how I search, what I search for, how I filter, all that stuff, because there kind of is an art to it. And yeah, let's talk about my general tips. So the first tip is to play around with your search terms. Be wide and also be super specific. So you could be super specific and type in like 80s romper, but maybe people haven't labeled the decade. So maybe you wanna open the search and kind of experiment with it and maybe do like vintage romper, just kind of like manipulate those searches to kind of figure out different ways that people have labeled their items. My next tip is to search by brand. You can either search vintage brands or modern brands. Say you're looking for a pair of Duff Martens or a pair of Levi's and you wanna get like a better deal than buying them firsthand. I've actually purchased both of my Doc Martens from either Poshmark or Depop and I've gotten like a pretty good deal on them, basically brand new, and I can look modern but still shop sustainably. And then the other thing is looking for vintage brands. So if you've been thrifting and you love thrifting and you keep finding like these vintage brands that you love, you can search by brand to find some pieces that you already know that you love that vibe from. And then there are also a lot of platforms that you can tag modern brands such as like Reformation or Urban Outfitters Brandy Melville and they'll tag those on um, vintage pieces that are reminiscent of those brands so you can find some like cool unique pieces that are not actually those current brands but they're really like reminiscent of it and you can usually get like a way better price and you're getting like a super unique piece that's more one of a kind than if you were buying a regular Reformation dress. Another way I really like searching is by trend so I'll search like puff sleeve, checkered, tiered, whatever kind of trend I'm looking for. So let's just say I search like puff sleeve dress. And so say I'm like searching and I'm not really finding what I'm looking for because that's a pretty like wide search. And I might think like, okay, well what's like a different way that I could search for puff sleeve? 
and my first thought is to go with like prairie dress right because like a puff sleeve and a prairie dress like it's really similar so maybe I type in prairie dress and then I can find all these other dresses that weren't labeled with like puff sleeve and find more dresses that I'm looking for that kind of match my vision of um, a puff sleeve dress so definitely like play around with whatever trends you're looking for but then also think like what's another way that you could search for that trend too my next tip is that if you find a piece that you really like maybe it's sold maybe it's not your size or maybe you just like it go to that person's shop because the chances that they have stuff that's like your style your aesthetic is going to be pretty likely so whenever i find a piece that i really like i will always go to that person's shop and then follow them if i really like their stuff um, or favorite them and then you can find more pieces that you really like that way once i find a piece that i'm really interested in say i find these doc martens that i really like because i am always searching for a deal i will then go across all different platforms and search for that item and see where i can get the best deal i'll also research like what it costs new to see if i'm like really getting a good deal and then i can figure out where the best deal is and buy that and i know it's like might be tedious but I like a good deal on platforms that you can negotiate or make an offer always do it because the worst that a seller can say is no as a former Depop seller like years ago I have a few tips on how you can kind of negotiate and get the best price one is always be super nice it's really good to like make a good impression with the seller they're going to be more likely to give you a good deal and also like it's good to be a nice human, so just be nice, you know? My second tip on negotiation is don't lowball people. Negotiate, but like be reasonable and know what that product is worth when you're negotiating with them because it's not going to look good if you just come in with like a super low price. My last general tip is really relevant to what's happening right now. Make sure that you're always checking the shop's like rules and just status right then because they might not be shipping at the current moment. They could be on vacation. They could just not be shipping. Obviously it's during quarantine right now. So always check that before you buy. Literally as I was about to start filming this haul, I got two other packages, but I'm going to start with everything that I ordered that I know what the product is. And then we'll move on to the gifted surprise mystery stuff that I'm like so excited to open. I'm going to start with this. If you couldn't tell how many times I talked about it, pair of Doc Martens that I got on Poshmark. And because I wear my Leona Doc Martin boots so much and wore them so much in the winter, I thought, Hey, I need to get a pair of chunky sandals for the summer. These are the Doc Martin um, Blair sandal, I believe they're called. They have the chunky lug sole. They have this same like yellow contrast stitch that my Doc boots have. They're just like a good basic chunky sandal. I paired them just with like a casual outfit or with like a feminine dress or something just to kind of do that typical leather lace kind of vibe that i like doing so these have been a huge staple and they're actually super lightweight my next two items are from depop i found this really cool seller from brooklyn i will put her in the description below and she had some amazing pieces for like pretty inexpensive so i bought two tops from her the first top is this cute little like basic it's cashmere and it kind of has this stripe going through it it's kind of a sweater vest so i think this will be really good to layer you could do like a t-shirt or a dress or like a puff sleeve top or you can just do it um with nothing underneath which i really like that it's kind of um you know like a lot of different styling options and guys it's from b altman which if you've seen the show marvelous mrs Maisel, she works at the altman which used to be like a really old department store that was in new york city so i just thought that was like a cool little touch so i think this was like 15 dollars um and she gave me a deal because i did a bundle and i got this really cute top i have been obsessed with crochet lately and i've been searching for one of these 70s crochet tanks and again i think this one was also like 15 to 20 dollars which is a really good price for these like little crochet tops it fits so well i love the colors in it it's kind of like a rusty brown and this green which are 
some of my faves right now. So yeah, I'm super excited about both of those. The next piece is from a vintage shop called Room Shop Vintage. They do these um, iconic little cloud scrunchies. That's like what they're known for, these giant scrunchies. And they hand make them all in Philadelphia. I think it's like a one woman show. I have been wanting one of these for like a year. So here she is. It's giant guys. Like I'm putting this on my wrist to show you. It's so cool. And I just feel like they look very like Parisian chic, very kind of 90s in a way, very dreamy, romantic. How cute, right? She does them in all these different colors. So this was a purchase I have been like holding off on forever. I don't know why. It goes with so many things. Now we're going to move on to all of the mystery packages. So this one I actually do know what it is because she asked me which color I wanted, but my friend Olivia, she owns a shop um, called Able Shop and she hand makes these crazy cool like enlarged kind of chain clay earrings. They're ginormous. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been wearing these nonstop and she does them in a bunch of really cool colors. And then she also curates vintage. So I don't know what the other item is. Oh my gosh, she sent me a little note. This is why I love shopping on Instagram. You like get to create these personal connections and it's so cool. Taylor, I hope you're doing well amidst all the craziness right now. Keep up the beautiful and fun work. It's what people need right now. So true. I so appreciate you supporting my little business. I'm going, I'm crazy grateful for this online thrift slash fashion community. Me too. Able Shop actually was started in Nashville, so it has a huge piece of my heart. I didn't know that. I was interning at a shop called Sisters of Nature in the same building as Barista Parlor at the time and began selling on Etsy. I would go to Music City Thrift all the time. Yes, that's like one of my favorite stores. So it's so fun to see you thrift there and I hope to come back soon when trying to get back to normal. You have such a spunky spirit. Yes, um, and this top uh, was uh, made me think of you. I thought the black chain earrings would pop against your blonde hair. Have been styling these pieces and can't wait to see how you create. I can't read the handwriting. Oh, that's so cute. I know I said I'm looking for summer tops. Okay. <gasps> this is so me. I love animal print. Okay, it's like this creped top so it kind of like stretches a little bit. Has a really nice texture to it. And it is a really nice, like neutral snakeskin print, which I love. Like one of my staples, I think in my closet, just like go-to outfits is this with just like denim and a fun shoe and maybe like a bold earring and a red lip. Like to me, animal prints are neutral. So thank you, Liv. This is so cool. I will link Able Shop below for you guys so you can like get you some of those earrings, get you some of her stuff. She's been doing really good. Um, story sales right now, so highly recommend. What should I do now? Okay. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. <gasps> I see pearls, I see a giant pearl. Okay, so this next package is from my friend Chelsea. She owns Salt and Bloom Vintage. I've been following her for, oh God, probably like five years now. I found her through Beth Jones from B. Jones Style because they've done like a few videos together. She used to live in California. Now she lives in Austin, which is like one of my favorite cities. And she has like the most bomb ass style ever. She also sells on Instagram, so I'll link her below. But she sent me a few pieces, it looks like. Let's see. Okay, this. It's like an asymmetrical, like 80s little top and it has like these little layers. How like dramatic and cool would this be with like some cigarette pants or something? It's the perfect like summery kind of material and like pattern, but the drama. Okay, yes, Chelsea, this piece. I see pearls. Oh, I'm dead. Look at this jacket it's like a little cropped kind of bolero jacket probably like 80s or 90s and it has these giant pearls on there i've never seen anything like this how i like pictured chelsea styling this is like with some 
vintage like light wash denim and maybe a graphic tee. She loves to mix like casual with dressier and kind of like dress the pieces down. So I feel like that styling would look so cool with this, but thank you, Chelsea. This is such a cool piece. Both of them are amazing. So again, she is linked below and you can find her shop on Instagram at Salt and Bloom. This next package, I am so, so excited about. This is from my friend Erica from Erica Nicole Vintage. We have actually done a thrifting video together where we thrifted in Dallas for like, oh gosh, it was like a seven hour day. I don't know, she's just like my spirit animal. When we're together, I just feel like we've been friends for the longest time, even though I've literally only met her like twice. She reached out to me and asked if she could send me some stuff and I was like, heck yes girl. She is known for her like cinched cropped Harley tees which I know the last time I shared those with you guys, you all were obsessed with them. So again, I'll link her shop below, but she said, love you, mean it. First of all, I see yellow gingham, and it's literally a dress with fruit and flowers on it. And she did like a little crop. How cool would this be with my little dog sandals I got? This is so stinking cute more yellow which i love <gasps> erica was i not just saying tiered is one of the trends that i've been searching for this is a tiered uh yellow seersucker like midi skirt it has the little elastic waist which is super comfy this is so me she knows me so well guys <laughs> sorry i had to smell it because it smells so good erica i love you you're my girl. This looks like white linen. <gasps> Ooh! I've also been obsessed with linen right now. This is a really pretty linen midi skirt. It has a little slit in the front. Also, this is one of my like favorite brands. It's Jones New York. If y'all seen a lot of my thrifting videos, I always find Jones New York and love it. So she was spot on with this one. Such a good essential for spring and summer. The last piece. Ooh, this is a sweatshirt. Look at this. Look how freaking cute this is. Okay, again, it smells so good, too. Mm. It's like a little cactus with a howling at the moon, a wolf, and the stars. Oh, this is so, so stinking cute. And perfect right now because I feel like I've been living in, like, t-shirts and sweatshirts. So I'm so excited to style this up. It's like the perfect colors, it's so me. Erica, you killed it. Last is this giant bag from my friends, Olivia and Miller at Sifted Clothing Co. They have a shop based out of Winston-Salem. I have met them actually the same day that I met Erica, I met them. They have the cutest shop, the coolest style, and they were doing this huge grab bag sale on their website like a month ago, I think. And you buy a bag and they literally fill it, like it is like busting. They fill it, this was $40. Each bag I think contained like seven to 10 pieces. So it's like literally less than $5 per piece. So this is like better than thrift store pricing and they've already like curated it. I see this letter. Okay, there's so much good stuff in here. All right, I'm just gonna start with this fun little buttery yellow sweater on top. It's, I think it's like a Angora. So it has a little bit of like a fuzzy on there, which I love. I love things that have like a really nice texture. It's going to be perfect for lounging during quarantine and I love this color. Imagine like the skirt from Erica and this together for like a little monochromatic look. That would be so cute. Next I'm seeing something green. I love this kind of pea green color. This is a cropped cardigan, has little buttons in the front. I've been loving cardigans as tops right now. So this is super trendy and I can't believe that like technically this was probably under $5. I don't know how many pieces were in here, but this was a steal. We have another cardigan, but this one's like a chunky blue cardigan and it also has some really nice colors woven throughout, which I always love, just kind of bringing out whatever colors are in there. And I've actually been searching for a cardigan like this to just wear, you know, like when I'm cold, working in the house. I mean, since I'm just like in the house all the time. Also it has pockets. 
so this is super cool nice and cozy perfect for staying at home because i see a little white dress okay this is Okay, this is like a little loft dress. It is a size two, so I'll have to see if it fits me. Usually I'm a size four, but it's a little spaghetti strap. It has a tiered skirt, which I love. I was literally just talking about how I was searching for tiered dresses. So this is like exactly, again, what I was looking for. And I love like the little um, bands of eyelet that kind of go across it. I don't know, lace eyelet. Someone will probably correct me below. But I've been searching for a dress like this, so this is awesome. I spot something blue. This is cute, really soft. Okay, this looks like a little like early 2000s button up tank. It kind of has that vest vibe to it with a little angled detail at the bottom, but this is super cute. Okay, and I think this is the last item. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a little dress. I think this is like a little 80s, oh my gosh, Paris Blues. Have you guys ever thrifted anything by this brand, Paris Blues? Because I've, I've found it so many times. This is an 80s mini dress. It's like denim, it buttons down the front, has pockets. I love this like moody floral. This is super cute. I could also see like wearing this with my docs too. This is probably actually 90s, not 80s. I could definitely do like a little 90s vibe with this, so. Awesome, I'm really excited about everything. I think that's everything. The aftermath of everything that I have opened. It's bad. E. All right, and that is the end of today's video. I hope it has been helpful for you to get some tips and tricks on how to navigate the thrifting online world and praise. I hope that I will be able to thrift in person again and take you guys with me. But in the meantime, I'm really enjoying all of my things I've thrifted online or been gifted by some of my favorite vintage sellers. Again, I have linked all of my favorite sellers below so you can shop their stores too. I also have a few discount codes for you so you can find those linked with the shops below as well if you wanna buy something and get a nice discount because that's cool, we love a good discount. I'd love to hear your tips for thrifting online and I'm sure everybody else would too so please put them in the thread that I have started on this video below. If you like this video, please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications to get notified every time I post a video, which is every Thursday. If you want more thrifting and style content, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post a bunch of other IGTV videos there that are totally different than um, YouTube. And you can also obviously see how I style up all my thrifty finds. And until next time, bye! My lip gloss, we pop it. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys, they stop it. They chase me after school.